Consider this problem. 2x squared minus 7x plus 3, all raised to the fourth power, is equal to 2,401. What is the value of x? So feel free to take a minute and try to solve this problem. So what do you think is the first thing that we need to do here? Our first step is we need to get rid of the exponent, 4. So what we need to do is raise both sides to the fourth root, or you could raise it to the one-fourth power. Whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you need to do also to the right side as well, so that the value on both sides of the equation remains the same. Now, when you raise one exponent to another exponent, you need to multiply. 4 times 1 over 4 is just 1. The 4s will cancel. So we're, we're just going to get 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 on the left side of the equation. Now, on the right side, we need to find the fourth root of 2,401. So what number multiplied 4 times is equal to 2401? If you don't know what this is, just type in this into your scientific calculator. Type in 2401 raised to the 1 over 4, and you should get 7. 7 to the 4th power is 2401. If you multiply 4 7s together, you're going to get this number. Now, our next step to solve this equation is to subtract both sides by 7. So we're going to have 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 is equal to 0. So what we now have is a quadratic equation. We have a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1. What do you think we need to do here? In order to solve this equation, we could use the quadratic formula, or we could try to factor it. I think we should definitely try to factor this equation. So here's what you need to do. Multiply the leading coefficient, 2, by the constant term, negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And then find two numbers that multiply to negative 8, but add to negative 7. So we know that 2 and 4 can multiply to 8. We can use negative 4, or we can use negative 2. But none of these will add up to negative 7. We could try 1 and 8. We can try negative 1, positive 8, or positive 1, negative 8. Now, positive 1 and negative 8 adds up to negative 7, so we're going to use that. Let's replace negative 7x with negative 8x and positive 1x. So that's what we have right now. Now, what we need to do is we need to use a technique called factoring by grouping. We need to take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, out of the first two terms. And that's going to be 2x. And it's going to leave behind x minus 4. Now, for the last two terms, the only thing we can factor out is a 1, which will also leave out x minus 4. Now, the next thing is to factor out another GCF, which is x minus 4 in this case. In front of the first term, we have 2x. In front of the second one, we have a plus 1. So it's going to be x minus 4 times 2x plus 1. And that will equal 0. So now let's solve the equation. What we're going to do is we're going to use the zero product property and set each factor equal to 0. So we're going to set x minus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So adding 4 on both sides in the first equation will give us our first answer. And that is that x is equal to 4. And then for the second one, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we'll get 2x is equal to negative 1. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we get the second answer, x is equal to negative 1 half. Now what we need to do is check the solutions to see if both answers are correct or if one or none of the answers are correct. So let's begin by plugging in x equals 4 to the original equation. 
So replacing x with 4, we're going to have this. 2 times 4 squared minus 7 times 4 plus 3. All of that is going to be raised to the fourth power. And we're going to see if it's equal to 24 or 1. So 4 squared is 16 times 2, that's 32. 7 times 4 is 28. And then we have 32 minus 28, which is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. And so we get 7 to the 4th is equal to 2401. And we know that is true. 7 to the 4th is 2401. So the first answer is correct. So let's put a check mark for that. Now let's see if our second solution is correct as well. So we're going to plug in negative 1 half. So this is going to require some work. So negative 1 half squared. Negative 1 squared is going to be positive 1. 2 squared is 4. So we're going to have 2 times 1 over 4. And then this is going to be plus 7 over 2. And then plus 3. Now, 2 times 1 over 4, that's 2 over 4, which reduces to a half. So we have 1 half plus 7 over 2 plus 3. 1 over 2 plus 7 over 2 is 8 over 2. And 8 over 2 is 4. And 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is going to work as well. Everything inside of the brackets is equal to 7. And we know that 7 to the 4th is 24 or 1. So both answers are indeed correct. So that's it for this video. So x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 1 half.